Hey guys, what's up? It's Anbu and today I'm collabing with a very cool YouTuber and if you haven't seen part one of this video, go check out her channel and if you have, continue watching. Yeah, I had a lot of animation like experience before. Like for example, when I was walking on the street, I was yielded. Hi, Chinese or Ni Hao uh, or something like that. Oh my god. I am Japanese and I know they cannot recognize mm. who is Japanese or Korean or Chinese, but for me, I, it's not nice. Oh no, I'm so sorry I had to experience that. Where did you experience that? I think everywhere. Everywhere, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I used to study abroad in New Zealand for one year and I used to live in America for three years as well. So yeah, everywhere I say. Uh, what, do, what do you say back? Do you say anything or do you continue walking? Um, sometimes I say I'm Japanese or you know, uh, then some people say sorry or they just ignore me and keep going to walk into the other streets or places or this the wow, yeah. It's a sad. So, okay, so in someone in your position who might be watching, um, what advice would you give them if they experience something like that? I would say because there are a lot of people in this world and some people totally some people think totally different the way you think. That's, I mean the completely the opposite way you think. So um, but please do not take so serious about being racist racism mm. because you are the totally different person people from them. So just you know take them as like the ex uh, take sorry take them as your experience to be positive mm. so not necessarily focus on that negative thing but would you say ignore it and yeah and just kind of i guess what you're trying to say is realize that these people are coming from a different place to you and they might not understand you and um yeah that is that that is upsetting i mean but what what has, has any um that's like the verbal um, verbal racism have you ever experienced any other type of racism, for example, physical racism or... Yes! Have you? Yes, wow. yes. Uh, it was like um, when I went to the Germany, there, I went to the Germany of the airport and I was in the line, I was in the queue to get into the restaurants. Like there, I think there were like six people in the queue and I think I, I was one of them. And when I was waiting for the seating to be, you know, for me to sit in, inside of the restaurants, one of the German guy, German guy, came to me. Uh, sorry, one of the German guy came to the guy in uh, the back, not behind, behind, behind me, and they just went through to the city. It's the number of people are the same. I was the one. I'm not. I'm the only one, and the other guy was the only one. So I should be sit the first because I was in front of him. But just they, you know, tried to. They just, you know. Mm. How did you feel when that happened? It's so. I was so angry. Yeah. I was so angry because I was so hungry. I didn't have enough time to, you know, go into get yeah. on plane because I I was in the airport, and it's so yeah. unfair. It's so unfair. So unfair. So do you think it's just because he thought, oh, you're just from another country, and then just kind of ignored you and then walked straight ahead? I think with so. That? Maybe because you know uh, the the airport was I went was very rural side, mm. like countryside, right. not yeah. like uh, Frankfurt or yeah. someone very city side. You do notice that, don't you? With the city centres, they're different to the rural areas. Yeah. I think in you know, the people from rural side, I mean the countryside, they are more do you know more yeah. racism yeah. in my they're opinion. More racist. Yeah, they, I agree. Is it true? I do agree. Yeah, I've, I've definitely experienced some racism. Even in England, when I go to the more rural parts, I do do face it so yeah it's a very it's unfortunately it's a reality um, I think it's because urban areas and metropolitan areas are mixed they're multicultural societies they get used so to they it. get used to it but mm. I think in rural societies it's it's different um, so in in your video we talked about accent yes. didn't we um, so do you think that if someone has a Japanese accent they'll be judged compared differently to other like native accents for example like native British accent I think so. Yeah. My main, I tell you, I, I would like to, um, I'm telling my story in my life. I used to study abroad in America for three years, this is what I thought. My major, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry, it's just like, otherwise I can tell in the video. No, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I know it's very It's cold. like cold. Yeah, <laughs> but this is the thing with London, like, oh my god, it's supposed to be spring and it's like literally yes. so cold today. Yes. Both of us have got our scarves. Woo. I know, right? So you, you were saying you want okay. to share your story. Yes. I um I told you I used to study abroad in America for three years. Then my major was like the musical theater. Mm. I tell you, a lot of people, I mean a lot of girls who took the major as the musical theater, they don't like others like me, like Asian people. They don't like the people who they don't speak English very well, like native speaker. No. Really? Yes. I was, this is what I really surprised. I mean, and it surprised and struggled when I was living in America, especially this oh major. Mm. I, I thought if my major was like different, like business or maybe Mm, biology or maybe something different would be more easier to live or to learn English. So maybe or it's because it's, the, it's, a, it's the major of the arts, it's quite an artsy kind of subject, so that's why. Oh, interesting. So, Very. so would you say. Um, oh, because. Have, can I say? Can I say? Because a lot of people would like to be a good role. You know what I mean? Because the, our major was like musical theatre. They would like to get a role. Oh. Everybody. So, everybody. Is, yeah, very competitive. Very competitive. So everybody try to, you know, make them down. Has anyone ever tried to say that they don't, they don't understand you because you have an accent? Um, not really. They they never tell me directly, but they I can see some people trying to avoid me, like not like ignorance. They try to avoid going away, taking seat to the other. That. Do you um do you ever so when you do you or your friends or your family ever try to get a British accent? Do you try to improve the accent that you speak with? Of course. Yeah. Of course. But why is that important? Why why can't you why can't we just stick to our own accents? Like because um I think almost all Japanese people think they the same way same way, but because we are learning English and speaking English, so. I think all, almost all people would like to speak like native speaker. So, even if, so for me, to have the accent like a Japanese English accent is a shame. This is what I think, oh. in my opinion. <laughs> really? Is it yeah. That? Why? Because, um, because maybe I have the background of the, my, the, my experience from the musical theater. I don't know. Because maybe because of girls, but I really feel I would like to speak like the native speaker. So I just feel like for someone who's watching this, someone who might have judged someone for their accent, or someone who might have, you know, taken the mick or taken made 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 fun out of someone who has an accent. Mm -hmm. This is the impact that you're that that essentially this, you're having on someone. Um, for example, those girls in the musical theatre, they probably didn't realise the lifelong effect that mm -hmm. they had on someone's mentality. By saying, by being rude, or not even directly rude, mm. people aren't idiots. People aren't stupid, and they can tell when you're avoiding them. They, you can, you can always tell when someone's treating you differently, mm. isn't it? Yes. Yes. So, yes. Um, it's such a shame, really. It's such a shame. And I talk about accents. And I talk about identity on my channel. So, what would be your, what would you say your identity was in this world? Would you say you're strong? Would you say you have a strong Japanese identity, or what identity? For me, living in London, yes, I try to keep who I am as a Japanese. Like me, like a, like as you can see, I have a fringe. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of Japanese girls have fringe, but here in London, no, I don't think so. Can you recognize that? A lot of like British people, oh. British girls, they don't have fringe. Yeah. Some people, yes, yeah, they yeah. do, but not a lot. Mm. They maybe because of the culture of the difference, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like uh, myself. Mm, bias myself yourself as possible. That's really nice. But of course, I'd like to, you know, speak English like native mm -hmm. speaker. Yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your impressions of London? Have you really enjoyed London, or what? What are the bad, good sides and the bad sides? Of um, for me, I think that London is like the ideal place to live because everyone is so friendly. I know some some people say it's not friendly, but for me. For me, they are very friendly and very nice. Like you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> like you, Ambu. Yeah. 
then um, yeah so and this is what I love about you is the fact that yeah. you make your opportunities and you make your experiences for example like you said London has a, a name for being unfriendly mm -hmm. but I watched one of your videos where you went to Starbucks and she gave you a free coffee it's like it's because it's the energy that you project, project out that you'll get back so if you are negative you only receive negativity back but because you are a positive person and you and the way you interact with people, you are friendly. Oh. You notice people are friendly back to you, aren't they? Because now you said that, now I realise that. <laughs> yes, it's because a lot of my friends and a lot of people like from, from other parts of the world come here and they say, oh my gosh, Londoners are unfriendly. Yes, that you're, they're going to be unfriendly if you're not friendly to them first. You have to open up conversation, you have to... Mm. Yeah, so what, mm. how do you make sure that you are friendly? What do you do? What advice can you give for my viewers? To expose yourself is, I think, the most important thing is to be friends with others. Because if you are... if you, I know, I know, I know. Because I am the one who couldn't speak English in my childhood or when I was youth. So I know how... Um, to make a mistake when it comes to speaking English is very hard. Yes, very, very. I really need uh, courage to speak English. But I really respect you for that. Because yes, I I make a lot of I make a lot of mistakes. And maybe when it comes to the grammatically or maybe the pronunciation or everything. But do not be afraid. Is that I think the key? That is some fantastic advice. Your accent, your 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 positive your positive mindset is excellent. Your English is even excellent. Oh I no! Said that to you in your no. other other video, <laughs> I keep saying this, no, but but I, I I understand what you're saying, and and I think that is one one piece of advice which is so good for you guys. I think is to have that courage and to make those mistakes and to really get yourself out there and to see the benefits that you've experienced is amazing, isn't it? And a lot of people come to my channel to learn English as well, and so. What other advice would you give them to to help learn their... English and also if they were to come to London, how would they? What's the best way that they can enjoy? Yeah, where where do they get the courage from? Where do they get the courage from? Because <gasps> you know, where did you get your courage from and and confidence? I have the answer. I answer the way. The only way you can get courage or confidence is maybe from your experience. How, how much you make a mistake, how much, sorry, how much you made a mistake in your life or how much you tried to do that, this, this is the all that I got That's from really that. That's really good. Yeah. If you never try to do something new, maybe you, you, you will never do it, do it and you will never get a confidence, confidence or the courage. I agree with you wholeheartedly. You have to throw yourself out there, go fall into the mistakes for you to pick yourself back up and then get the confidence from that and know that actually I, I've done that and even if it didn't go well you're still proud that you went and then did that yeah yeah if you make a mistake it's not a mistake if you are you are learning something new it's your progress I love that and I want to end on that note that's a very positive note very <laughs> nice way to end the video um, so yeah I, thought, I hope you've really enjoyed that chat um, I kind of wanted just to have a lovely chat with Cameron over here and you know sometimes I have a um, I I plan a script and I you know sometimes my videos are very planned this one was an unplanned video because you know we're just sitting in a park in mm, London mm, on this kind mm, of cold yes, uh, spring yes, day yes, yes. but um, yeah I just thought it would be very kind of beneficial for you guys just to have it ha join in our conversation and also uh, um, know what it's like to um, you know be from another culture someone who's from Japan and coming to London I wanted I so, so lovely to hear about your experiences I'm so sorry to hear about your the negative experiences with the racism and everything. No worries. But, but I thank you for so much for sharing your experiences and I think that that's going to help so many people out there um, to, who will be inspired by your positivity and your and your way to get out there and I think your advice will help a lot of people. So thank you so I much I hope so, that. thank you. And um, shall we try my outro? Yes, yes, yes. And I wanted to leave you with one last message and that's to Love, Love your, your identity. identity. <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> well, we're doing double high five. <laughs> and I'll see you in next week's video on Thursday and Sunday at 3 p.m. London time. Until next time, guys. Cheerio! Cheerio! <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Fantastic! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you we did it! Yeah.